and in the glade a light was seen of stars and shadows shimmering. To Nouvielle was dancing there to music of a pipe unseen, and light of stars was in her hair and in her raiment glimmering. There Baron came from mountains cold, and lost he wandered under leaves, and where the elven river rolled, he walked alone and sorrowing. He peered between the hemlock leaves, and saw in wonder flowers of gold upon her mantle and her sleeves, and her hair like shadow following. Enchantment healed his weary feet, that over hills were doomed to roam, and forth he hastened strong and fleet, and grasped at moonbeams glistening. Through woven woods and elven home, she lightly fled on dancing feet, and left him lonely still to roam, in the silent forest, listening. He heard there oft a flying sound, of feet as light as linden leaves, of music welling underground, in hidden hollows quavering. Now withered lay the hemlock sheaves, and one by one with sighing sound, whispering fell the beechen leaves, in the wintry woodland wavering. He sought her ever wandering far, where leaves of years were thickly strewn, by light of moon and ray of star, in frosty heavens shivering. Her mantle glinted in the moon, as on a hilltop high and far, she danced and at her feet were strewn, a mist of silver quivering. When winter passed, she came again, and her song released the sudden spring, like rising lark and falling rain, and melting water bubbling. He saw the elven flowers spring about her feet and healed again. He longed by her to dance and sing upon the grass untroubling. Again she fled, but swift he came to Nouviel, to Nouviel. He called her by her elvish name. And there she halted, listening. One moment stood she and a spell. His voice laid on her, barren came and doom fell on to Nouvielle, that in his arms lay glistening. As Baron looked into her eyes, within the, within the shadows of her hair, the trembling starlight of the skies, he saw their mirrored, shimmering. To Nouvielle, the elven fair, immortal maiden, elven wise, about him cast her shadowy hair, and arms like silver glimmering. Long was the way that fate them bore, o'er stony mountains cold and gray, through halls of iron and darkling door, and woods of nightshade marrowless. The sundering seas between them lay, and yet at last they met once more, and long ago they passed away, in the forest singing sorrowless.